So here's the new Micro Swift from RunCam right here. You can see it's smaller than a quarter. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mount it on my mini pop wing and take it for a test flight. And then afterward, we'll go ahead and do a box opening. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So I mounted the Micro Swift onto my mini pop wing right here. And I just went ahead and taped it on there. I didn't have a bracket to mount it on. And as you can see, it used the same wires that had worked with some of the other run cam cameras. So that just plugged right in. Okay, so let's just take it out and fly it and see how it does. So during the flight, I noticed that the picture was really bright and good contrast. I could really see the details. I think the uh, 2.1 millimeter lens did really good. It has about a 140 degree field of view, which was ample for flying. So I wasn't having any trouble seeing what was on the periphery of my view and was able to avoid the trees as you can see here. So quite happy with the image considering how small this camera is and I think the fact that it's very light helps to uh, keep my pop wing light too in the front less nose heavy so that's a that's a bonus. I can see how this would be great for really small micro quadcopters, tiny little racing quads or something, that this camera would be ideal for that. And you can see as I'm circling around here, it handles the light well with the wide dynamic range. It doesn't matter if it's in the sun or away from the sun, everything looks good. We had a thunderstorm coming in the distance there and uh, we were fortunate enough to get the flight in before the thunderstorm hit. In fact uh, before we started the flight the alarm actually went off on the golf course to tell us that there was a thunderstorm coming. But you can see the sun was up there in the upper right hand corner there for a second and it really didn't affect the picture seems to do really well and the wires just plugged right into the camera from my previous cameras that I had on there so the wiring was virtually non-existent no soldering or anything just plug and play so this is where I came in for a landing just trying to line up and avoid hitting anything and that's the end of the flight I was going to do a box opening, but unfortunately the camera's not in the box because it's on the plane. But I do have another one, so we'll take a look at that one and see what's inside. A very small box as you can see, and the voltage, the DC power, is 5 to 36 volts, so wide voltage range. It is IR blocked. I didn't see an option for IR sensitive on the site. They may have that later and the lens is a 2.1 millimeter lens so inside the box we have the camera of course right here we'll look at that in a second and there is not much else in here except this little label right here which has some uh, information about the website right there and then we have a few little cables. This is just a piece of cardboard. So we have some screws for mounting right here. I did not see a bracket, but I assume the screws are for these holes right here where you'd mount them on the frame of a multi-rotor. And then we have the two little cables right here. These are the FPV cables and a menu board cable. Let's see if I can get them side by side. So you can see one's smaller than the other. One is for the FPV feed and one's for the menu board. And if you look on the back here, the OSD for the menu is this one and then the ground for it is there. And then we have the 5 volt, well, the input voltage, 5 to 36 volts on this pin and then ground and then the video. So fairly simple. And when I had it on the plane, it simply just plugged on the same wires I had 
on the plane which was right in this area like that. Now it did accept the uh, menu control from one of my PZ0420 types. I think it'll work with almost any of the menu boards that come with the other Runcam cameras. But I, I tried this one. It plugged right on there and worked without issue. And I programmed in all the same settings that I have on the PZ0420. So here's the settings I used during the test. And these are the same settings I use with my other cameras such as the PZ0420 or the other Runcam Swifts. General board camera settings. There may be a mount provided with the final product. I don't know. This is just what I got. And uh, as you can see, the way this is mounted, you can actually see the chips between the board and the lens assembly right here. So very, very small, not much bigger than my thumb. A nice little camera. So I've heard that the pre-order has already begun and the shipping should be starting up by May 15th. So if you want to pre-order one now, you can, and you will get it around the middle of May if you ordered it right now, a little later, if you, if you wait. And I've also been told there will be a Facebook giveaway during that period. I don't have a link for it yet, but if I get a link, I'll post it under the video. When we started the flight, the alarm went off on the golf course, and uh, you can hear the thunder right there. And uh, when that alarm went off, we knew we had just enough sunny weather to get the flight in, and we did. Wow, it's really picking up now. Wind, rain, everything. Over and out. Take care, flight.